Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a realistic snow material in Blender. First, select the mesh that you'd like to add snow to. I've chosen a snowball shape. Our mesh needs to have geometry to displace, so we're going to add a subdivision modifier. Then make sure the render engine is set to cycles and feature set to experimental in the render properties tab. Make sure that the adaptive subdivision setting is now visible and enabled on the subdivision modifier which will increase the detail of the mesh closer to the camera, allowing us to see all the individual snowflakes. Also make sure that the viewport dicing rate under subdivision in render properties is set to 1. Then add a new material and name it snow. Set the color on the principal BSDF to pure white, the roughness to 1 and the IOR or index of refraction to 1.3. Set the subsurface weight to 1, the radius values to 0.36, 0.46 and 0.6 and the scale to 0.05. This will add subsurface scattering to the material, scattering light as it is absorbed by the snow and giving it its characteristic blue tint. First we're going to recreate the uneven bumps on the surface of the snow. Add a noise texture node, check normalize and set the scale to 2.5, the detail to 5 and the roughness to 0.6. With the noise texture selected, press Ctrl T, ensuring that the Node Wrangler add-on is enabled, which will add texture coordinate and mapping nodes before the noise texture node. Switch the output of the texture coordinate node from generated to object. Now we're going to recreate the small crystals of ice on the surface of the snow. Add another noise texture node and connect the output of our mapping node to the vector input. Check Normalize and set the scale to 150, the detail to 5 and the roughness to 1. Now we want to combine the two noise textures into one displacement map. So let's add a mix color node, set the blending mode to overlay and connect the factor outputs from the large and small scale noise textures to inputs A and B respectively. Set the factor of the mix color node to 0.1. Add a displacement node and connect the output of the mix color node to the height input. Set the scale to 0.1. Connect the output of the displacement node to the displacement input of the material output node. Then under settings in the material properties tab, make sure that displacement is set to displacement only. When you go to render your scene, you should see both the larger bumps on the surface of the snow and the individual snowflakes. To add one more final layer of realism, we're going to replicate the way snow sparkles as sunlight hits it. Add a Voronoi texture and set the scale to 10,000. Press Ctrl T to add texture coordinates and mapping nodes. One of the key features of snow is that it twinkles in the sunlight as the observer views it from different angles. And to replicate this, we're going to be mixing the object texture coordinates with the incoming output of the geometry node which specifies the vector between each point on the mesh and the observer, and using this as the mapping of our Voronoi texture. Add a mix color node between the texture coordinate and mapping nodes and connect the object texture coordinate and incoming geometry outputs to inputs A and B respectively. Set the blending mode to multiply. Now increase the factor until the Voronoi texture twinkles as you move around the object but doesn't distort. Let's go with 0.1. Then connect the color output of your Voronoi texture to a color ramp node and set the interpolation to constant. Pull down the white slider until you have a few isolated white sparkles. Let's go with a position of 0.98. Connect a math node, set it to multiply and set the value to 500. This will help accentuate the sparkles. Connect the output to the weight input on the coat section of the principal BSDF. Set the coat IOR to 1.3. This will add a glossy layer on top of our material, the strength of which is defined by our Voronoi texture, creating our sparkles. Now as we move around the object, we can see that the snow glitters and sparkles. Thanks for watching and happy rendering.